tympanous sclerosis tympanous sclerosis presents as a white tissue changes within the tympanic membrane and in the middle ear it is composed of calcified hyaline collagen the lack of blood vessels may lead to necrosis of the underlying bone steinbach found varying degrees of tympanous sclerosis in 10% of 2000 cases with chronic ear disease 1.4% of which were seen in case of cholestatoma tympanous sclerosis may be found behind an intact tympanic membrane or in the tympanic membrane small plaques are harmless and can be disregarded large incrustations in the tympanic remnant membrane remnant should be removed because the avascular material may prevent the integration of the graft it can affect the ossicular chain especially the head of malleus and the incus in the epitympanum mobilization is not advisable because refixation often occurs the head of malleus should be resected and the incus removed for reconstruction the incus can be placed between the stapes if mobile if the stapes is immobilized by tympanous sclerosis it can sometimes be removed under high magnification in extensive disease the surgeon should be careful not to perforate the foot plate or to luxate the stapes which sometimes is extremely vulnerable due to bone destruction underneath the tympanous sclerotic layers since the tympanous sclerotic masses interrupt vascular supply the underlying bone may become necrotic and in extreme situation the promontorial bone covering the basal coil of cochlea may be lifted off when large tympanous sclerotic masses are removed tympanous sclerosis on the stapes foot plate is more common and the underlying foot plate may be thin or even replaced by fibrous tissue and in these cases prosthesis placed on the foot plate may perforate through it a two stage surgery is necessary in tympanous sclerosis since the prognosis for hearing improvement in extensive tympanous sclerosis is not good and the ear is safe after the first operation a second stage surgery for hearing improvement must be discussed with the patient if the contralateral ear hearing is normal the option of hearing aids should also be discussed as well with the patient tympanous sclerosis Myringosclerosis refers to calcification only within the tympanic membrane and this is usually less extensive than intratympanic tympanous sclerosis which refers to any other location within the middle ear such as ossicular chain middle ear mucosa or less frequently the mastoid cavity what is the pathophysiology increased fibroblast activity results in deposition of collagen calcium phosphatase plaques then form in the lamina propria of the tympanic membrane inducible nitric oxide synthetase is an enzyme expressed in activated macrophages and known to produce nitric oxide which causes vasodilatation and kills pathogens i repeat inducible nitric oxide synthetase number 2 interleukin 6 is a cytokine that acts as a mediator between different immunocompetent cells it is also thought to participate in the maturation of cells into osteoclasts which is a cell involved in bone repair interleukin 6 an inducible nitric oxide synthetase and now known to be the mediators of tympanous sclerosis interleukin 6 stimulates bone resorption in vitro and in vivo and it induces osteoclastic like cell formation and this is believed to be the way that tympanous sclerosis is formed